Have you ever pondered the intricate balance of nature and how even the smallest shift can ripple through an entire ecosystem? It's a fascinating concept, you know, the delicate equilibrium that exists in our natural world. Each creature, each plant, each droplet of water plays a role in maintaining this balance. But what happens when this balance is disrupted? Well, let's talk about a concept known as a trophic cascade. It's a process in ecology that starts at the top of the food chain and tumbles all the way down to the bottom. A splendid example of this can be seen in the Yellowstone National Park, where the balance was severely disrupted due to the absence of a crucial predator. Imagine an ecosystem teetering on the edge, thrown off balance by the absence of a single species. This was Yellowstone National Park before 1995. In 1995, a transformative event unfolded in Yellowstone National Park, the reintroduction of 14 wolves. This marked the turning point in a tale of ecological imbalance that had held sway for decades. The wolves, absent for so long, were finally coming home. Their return wasn't without a ripple effect. As the apex predators of the region, the wolves had a task cut out for them. The elk population, without a natural predator to keep them in check, had grown exponentially. These large herbivores had been feasting on the vegetation along riverbanks, and in doing so, they had stripped the land bare. This extensive overgrazing resulted in soil erosion and the degradation of critical habitats for numerous species. But with the wolves back in the picture, the elk had to change their game. The wolves, with their predatory instincts, primarily targeted the elk, making them think twice before venturing into open areas or near rivers. Almost overnight, these spots became danger zones and the elk started avoiding them. This marked the beginning of a remarkable turnaround. As the elk changed their behavior, the vegetation began to bounce back. Riverbanks, once stripped bare, now had a chance to regenerate and stabilize. This shift is known as a trophic cascade, a domino effect that starts at the top of the food chain and trickles down, impacting every level of the ecosystem. Soon, the landscape began to transform. Willow trees started to flourish again, providing crucial habitats for beavers. These industrious creatures, in turn, created wetlands, and the ecosystem began to diversify. The ripple effect of the wolves' return was beginning to echo through every corner of Yellowstone. This story of the wolves' return is a testament to nature's resilience. It shows how the reintroduction of a single species can trigger a cascade of changes, breathing new life into an ecosystem and restoring its delicate balance. The wolves' return was just the beginning of an extraordinary transformation. As the wolves settled into their old home, a profound ripple effect began to unfold. Their return signaled a new dawn for Yellowstone, one that was marked by regeneration and renewal. With the elk population under control, vegetation once again began to flourish along the riverbanks. Willow trees, once on the brink of extinction due to overgrazing, started to grow anew, their branches reaching for the sky in a testament to nature's resilience. And where there are willow trees, there are beavers. These industrious creatures, drawn by the burgeoning vegetation, returned to the park in droves. They set about creating dams, altering the landscape in ways that were both subtle and profound. The dams they built not only contributed to the diversification of the ecosystem, but also created wetlands, which provided a haven for amphibians, fish and waterfowl. As the vegetation rebounded, it attracted a multitude of other species. Songbirds began to fill the air with their music, while small mammals scurried in the undergrowth. With each passing season, the park's biodiversity grew richer, painting a vivid picture of the interconnectedness of all life. The effects of the wolves' return didn't stop at the park's fauna. The rivers, once eroding their banks at an alarming rate, began to meander less as the vegetation stabilized their edges. This stabilization led to the formation of pools and riffles, creating ideal habitats for fish and aquatic invertebrates. In the grand tapestry of life, every thread is important. The return of the wolves to Yellowstone is a striking example of this. The reintroduction of just one species, the wolf, sparked a chain of events that transformed Yellowstone. Their presence rippled outwards, touching every aspect of the ecosystem, from the tallest trees to the smallest insects. It serves as a powerful testament to the resilience of nature and the profound impact that even a single species can have on an entire ecosystem. Before 1995, Yellowstone was grappling with challenges arising from excessive grazing by elks. This had pushed the park's vegetation to the edge. 
the existence of willow trees was under threat and the park's biodiversity was on a fast decrease. Then, a major transformation took place. The wolves were reintroduced. This ignited an extraordinary chain reaction. The elk population was controlled, which permitted the vegetation to grow back. Beaver dams altered the landscape, engendering diverse habitats. The river's rivers charted a new course, offering suitable conditions for aquatic life. With each passing season, the biodiversity of Yellowstone flourished. The reintroduction of the wolves did not just save the park, it revitalized it, transforming a struggling ecosystem into a prosperous one. It exhibited the resilience of nature and the profound impact a single species can impact on its ecosystem. This is the reason why preserving nature is so vital, because in the grand tapestry of life, every species counts.